Cinematics.com and today I want to show you how to create something like this. Right through the western sky, you can All right, so that looks very cool. Let's fire up Adobe After Effects and get started. All right, here we are in Adobe After Effects and let's take a look on how to create this awesome effect. Here I have my footage which you can download with the previous tutorial of yesterday, so I'll link that in the description below and you can drag this into a new composition. The first thing that I will verify is going to composition, composition settings and checking the frame rate. Currently set at 30, I want to change this to 24. The only reason being the effect that we're going to create is frame by frame drawing. So we're going to essentially draw something on a frame and then on the next frame we're going to continue that animation. So for those that already understand, if you would work on 30 frames per second, you would essentially need to draw 30 images per second. And here you only have to draw 24, which is six less. And if you're going to do a few seconds, and uh, yeah, I, I really think this can be a help. And if you really want to, you can also lower this number to an even lower value. Um, but if you're going to use this in film, I'd recommend 24 as the lowest frame rate you should go. 24 is a mainstream kind of frame rate that you see in movies and theaters. All right, so once you change it to 24, I will click OK. Now all we need to set up is the paint settings right here, so I'll make it a little bit larger at this corner. And also what I'd like to say for this effect, there is absolutely no problem using your mouse but I will be using my Wacom Intuos Pro, uh, which is a tablet I, that I can use to draw on, and this is actually my mouse. So if you're thinking about doing this effect over and over again, I definitely recommend and looking into some kind of tablet so you can easily uh, draw onto your screen. So what I will do now is click on my brush tool and I'll also pick my pen here for the Wacom. Uh, so there we go. Um, I'm, click, I'm going to click on my brush tool right here and then you'll see that the brush settings are going to pop up and the paint settings right here. If you don't see these, you can just go to window right here and be sure to check on brushes right here and paint right here. Okay, so there we go. I'll uh, zoom in a little bit on my screen right here and I'll go to the beginning of my timeline. And with the space bar, you can just click around and use your hand tool to move around on your screen. So if you hold space, uh, your mouse is going to change into a hand and you can and uh, just drag it around and then once you release the spacebar you're going to get your selection tool and if you click then you're just going to be moving uh, your composition well uh, your frame you're just going to be moving your video okay so let's start here with my chair uh, so what I will do is go to the paint options right here and just make sure that you have RGBA uh, the only reason being RGBA means that it's color but with an alpha channel uh, you can also go RGB but then you can't use an alpha channel uh, the reason why we are going to do this is because we actually want to work on a new layer uh, without background so you can do a lot of things with your paint uh, so we'll duplicate my layer I will click on my footage go to edit duplicate right here and also make sure for the paint options that the duration is at single frame so this means that if you draw on one single frame the next and the previous frame aren't going to have that drawing that you just made on that one frame so um, all right we have this set up on uh, diameter we can change it to 10 pixels right here I think that is fine and apart from that everything looks fine for me um, if it's not the same uh, try to copy my settings and then we are good to go okay so I will go back to my uh, timeline now and I will start drawing right here so take your brush tool and now what we want to do is double click on this layer so it opens it up in the layer right here so you have composition right here you have layer right here so if you double click on one of your footage layers it's just going to open up that single layer and now you can modify things on here you can't draw in your composition itself you have to open a single layer to draw on so uh, we have this set up and we'll start drawing something so I will start with like a straight line right here like so doesn't need to be perfect it's like frame by frame animation it's just one frame out of 24 of one second so if you think you're going to notice you will definitely not notice it so uh, it doesn't need to be perfect okay so just draw something like this and each time I'm going to make my line a little bit longer and what I'm using to actually go forward uh, for my frames is page up and page down this allows me to go one frame forward each time or backwards so page up is backwards page down is forward if you don't have that you can just click here on these arrows and they are doing exactly the same thing it's just a little bit easier to use uh, page down so I'm going right here 
All right, so now we completed our line. And what I wanna do now is actually continue, but I'm going to leave the bottom here. So it's actually shortening uh, with my animation. So right here, I'm gonna start from here and then just continue the complete drawing effect. Okay, so right here, we're going to continue until we have like one single dot. And then right here at the single dot, I want to add a few other dots like so. And these are going to be like some kind of explosion. Uh, so one frame forward again, add a dot again, and maybe make these a little bit longer. And even further away, so now we can use our spacebar to move around in our frame. And there we go, and now we can add some dots here. On the next frame, I'm going to start uh, something like so. So you can actually build everything up. It's completely up to you. Uh, take your time. Like, as you can see right here, we don't even have one second. So uh, we're already taking a lot of time to create something. Uh, this is an animator's job doing frame by frame things. Uh, yeah, it's a really tedious job. It's not really something that I see myself doing a lot, but yeah, I enjoy the effect. I really think the results pay off after all. So and there we go. And what we can do here is maybe uh, draw something like this and, and draw a few notes and you can do some really cool things with that as well. So on the next frame, we'll do the note a few a little bit further away. We can also start with like a circle right here and this is going to be a new node that we're going to draw uh, on, onto our screen so it's actually animating on. So right here we're going to have the other node flying off here and maybe the other node already has its few lines a little bit further away. And as you can see, I'm really not taking my time to make a perfect kind of drawing. It's not really that important. And actually, I think it's, it has that cool, fun, childish kind of look to it. Um, just doing it very quickly gives you also a pretty uh, cool result. So it isn't perfect and that makes it so much cooler in my own opinion. So uh, let's do a small preview. We have one second right now. And you can already see what we're doing here. So basically what you have seen in the preview is me doing this for a little bit longer um, until we, we had this kind of uh, result. So you can also go and, and draw some kind of lines around your furniture right here. Uh, maybe the laptop right here and and just keep doing everything and yeah that's basically how to create this effect and then once you are done with your entire animation here in the layer you can click here on composition uh, composition footage and then it will just open up your composition but as we have duplicated our two layers here we can do a really cool thing here and it's clicking on the layer with the effect applied to it so you will see that with a effects paint applied to it and you can toggle on paint on transparent what that will do is currently you won't see anything but if you just select solo this layer you will see that it doesn't have the background and if we don't do that we will have the background and yeah now if we toggle on the transparency grid right here you can see that it's showing on a transparent background that way you can apply effects only on your lines that you just drew so uh, you can go right here effect generate and add a fill to it for example and now you have a colored line and if we untoggle this uh, transparency grid and toggle the solo and now we have our colored lines and if we would do that without the, the transparent background this is what the fill would do so so you can do some really cool things with that if you can come up with something really cool i'd love to see it so definitely link your video in the comments below and yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like and also subscribe to the channel see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>